Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. For those of you who don't know, this is the 2.0, second time around. And in the meantime, this is where we're going to rock out until I figure out what I want to do with the content. First, I must say thanks to all my subs, my loyal followers, people who watch the videos, click like, share, comment, people who have purchased the masterpiece, the N-word is no secret in the service, and others who have also donated to the channel. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you all. But let's cook. So on the other channel, I've, co I've covered, you know, various topics as far as the medical industry is concerned. OK, now we talked about the racial disparities in medical care. And basically, in a nutshell, people, what that means is black people are always going to get subpar medical treatment, medical care. And in many occasions, we're going to be taken out of here in these medical facilities simply because they can do that and nothing happens, okay? Now, this situation here, it involves another one of these situations with one of these sickos. She happens to be a registered nurse who took advantage of her whiteness in her position as a registered nurse, okay? Now, this one right here goes to the state of Pennsylvania. Now, this chick here name is Irene Presti. She's a 40-year-old white American registered nurse. And... As we all know, registered nurses are people who they deal with a lot of medication. They can deal with the medication. OK, now she was just busted for administering lethal doses of insulin to two patients. Now, she's from this town right out in Pennsylvania called. Well, she worked in this town called Natrona Heights. She's from there or she worked in. No, she worked in a town called Chicora, Pennsylvania, but she's from Natrona Heights. Now. I'm getting these two towns confused because they're pretty much the same thing, y'all. For people who don't know, there are these towns out there in these places like Pennsylvania, you know, upstate New York, you know, places on the East Coast and Northeast Delaware. She's from one of these towns in Pennsylvania, and she worked in one of these towns where you could compare them to like what we would think is going on in Mississippi, the Appalachian Trails, you know, just straight up hardcore hick racism, white trash type towns. That's where this lady is from, okay? Now, a lot of people don't understand that on the East Coast, even in the Northeast, there are towns in the state of Pennsylvania, in the state of New York, in the state of Delaware that are as racist or more dangerously racist than these towns in Mississippi, Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia, or these other places that we know are historically known for overt racism. They got them right up in Pennsylvania, y'all. This is where this chick is from, so you can imagine her mindset. It's not in the South only. You know, these quality inn type of tr towns in Pennsylvania where they got these quality inns and stuff like that. That's where this chick Irene Presti is from. Okay, so this chick, she was finally arrested for giving patients overdoses of insulin. Now, she worked at a place called Quality, quality Life Services in Chicora, Pennsylvania, and basically what she was doing was just poisoning people to death with insulin, y'all. Now, she was employed at this facility from May 23rd of 2022 to November 28th of 2022 last year. Now, one of the patients that she treated died on December 4th and the other died on December 25th. They were 55 and 83 years of age. And a third patient who was a 73-year-old man, she tried to take him out of here. She poisoned him as well, but he survived, okay? Now, Interestingly, out of these three patients, two of them weren't even diabetic. So we know people, you know, insulin is very dangerous to give to somebody who's not a diabetic or it's very dangerous just to overdose and give to people. She knew this. She took advantage of that. And that's what she was doing. So she was finally arrested at her home just like last week on homicide, attempted murder, aggravated assault, neglect and reckless endangerment charges. Um, she's being held at a place called the Butler County Prison, no bail. Now, just based off the demographics of these towns that she was from and she worked at, I would assume that her victims are white Americans, okay? I can't prove it, but I'm just going off the demographics. We talking 90 plus percent white, zero black people. You know, they get those biracials mixed in there in these towns. You know, she looks like she might 
be the mother of a biracial. She got that look. You know how y'all know the look out there in Pennsylvania. If you from Pennsylvania, you live in one of these towns, get in the comp. You know the look. She looked like one of them, you know, biracial kid moms or whatever. But anyway, I can't prove it. I'm just saying that's what she looked like. But I'm also saying that I believe that her victims were white Americans. But we have to look at this Irene Presti chick, right? And just imagine if this knuckle dragon beast hobbled out of her white Pennsylvania hick town and made her way to the big city where she was able to work at a, facil a facility where predominantly black people frequent it. Just imagine that. And you know, people like her have no problem getting a job in these towns, you know, where black people are at. I mean, she's white. She can get a job easily. And it's very dangerous because she can go on a reign of terror like this for years and years if she worked at a predominantly black facility before she's caught. Now, if you look at her story, this chick right here, she just poisoned these men in November of 2022. And she got already, she already got caught. That's pretty fast. She just did this and she already got caught. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine how long she could have went on her reign of terror if she worked at a facility that was predominantly black in a town where black people frequent it and the reason why I'm bringing this to attention is because, yes, we have many of these Irene Presti type knuckle dragging beasts, registered nurses, doctors or whoever working at predominantly black frequented facilities who are able to do these things for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years. No problem before they're caught. The only reason why she just got caught that fast is because she did this in a place in a town that was predominantly white. She was doing this to her own people, I believe, just off the demographics, okay? These are the racial disparities in the medical industry, y'all. Very dangerous. You know what I mean? It's very dangerous. And we got to understand and remember, too, just because somebody becomes a doctor or a nurse or something in the medical field, it does not mean that they're going to change their beliefs, that they are grounded in the religion of white supremacy. It don't change it. There's a lot of them walking around here. You know, I've done numerous videos on the other channel about this racial disparities in the medical field where our people have been taken out of here. They've done studies that show this stuff. I'm going to post them here too. You know what I mean? But just look at this chick's picture. It's time to be prejudiced, y'all. Does she look like she like black people? I mean, if she's doing this to her own people, imagine what she's doing to black people. If she could. You know what I'm saying? But people, there's many cases of people like this Irene Presti in facilities that our people are at just doing what they want to do, man. Letting people, you know, poisoning people, you know, giving them the wrong medication on purpose, letting them stay there so they can get antibiotic resistant infections and die, bed sores and stuff just because they want to be mean. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I even though she did this in a white place, I had to bring this to the attention because... These people do this at our places, too. You know what I'm saying? In our hospitals, where the majority of our people are at. And it's much easier to do this to black people, y'all. It's much easier to do this to black people. You know what I'm saying? And when they're working around our people, these, pretty, these people, they pretty much got to tell on themselves before they get caught doing this to black patients. They, they pretty much got to go out and do something very, very stupid that would trigger an investigation. And then they're like, oh, well, you've been doing this for the past 15 years. Look at all this. And these are the people that come out to your peoples with a long face and say, oh, well, such and such, he didn't make it, she didn't make it. And it's over something stupid, y'all. It's over something stupid that they did. She's one of these people. All it take is one of these knuckle-dragging she beasts, these pale thuggies like her, to go on a reign of terror for many years, and they get away with it. And listen to what else we know about this, this thing right here, this Irene. Pre listen to what else we know about her. She's been a horrible nurse for many years. They say that she has an alleged pattern of being disciplined for abusive behavior toward patients and staff at several other facilities for years. And at these places, she either resigned or she was terminated. So she's able to do this, right? to have a bad reputation and go around and work at other facilities as a registered nurse, get fired, resign. She's only able to do this in a medical field because of her whiteness. She's flexing her whiteness, y'all. She has a pattern of abusive behavior. 
This is why she's able to continue to get jobs. It's only because she's white. She's around her people. You know what I'm saying? That's why she's able to flex her whiteness, you know, in the medical field. You know, these people like Irene Presti are evil, man. And the reason why they're so evil is because they're able to take advantage of vulnerable people in their position. You know, people who can't even speak, people with things down their throat, elderly people who are too weak to do anything, too weak to fight her off. Me personally, in my world, Irene Presti, I will execute her. Yes, because she took lives. You know, that's why I would, I would execute her. I, I would definitely send her to the firing squad, the electric chair, or the noose, whatever one she prefers. I'll let her pick that, you know, definitely for what she did. But hopefully she goes to prison for the rest of her life, you know. And just think, man, had this been a black nurse, just think, had this been a black registered nurse, they probably would have took her license after the first beef she had and was fired for at the, um, a medical facility years ago. This chick would been doing this for years. Just imagine a black registered nurse. And the black nurse could have been innocent. Who knows? They would have took a license. She would have had to fight for years to get it back. All this stuff, man. But here we go, man. I mean, people, this goes on in our facilities where our people are at very frequent, even though this story happened in one of these Pennsylvania towns. You know, and when this stuff is going down, when our your people, they in our medical facilities and things like that, when we in these medical facilities, all we could do was go in and check on our people's man. You know, go in, pay attention and just show up, man. Just have somebody keep popping up in there, man. Get on a schedule if everybody can't make it. Somebody got to be popping up doing all visit hours. You know what I'm saying? Start paying attention and showing up, you know, maximum to the ears, minimum to the mouth. You know, the presence alone at these facilities that our people are in is the most powerful thing we could do. Just showing up and looking like we're paying attention, you know. That's all. Asking a few questions without being arrogant or disrespectful to the people who are caring for them. You know, that's all we can do. And that will curtail a lot of this abuse that our people deal with, even though they do have the opportunities to do more. But, you know, it'll curtail a lot of this abuse. But one thing that we can't do, y'all, one thing our people, y'all you, you, got to stop doing this, man. You got to stop showing up to these medical facilities to see your people's loud, arrogant, demanding things, calling everything out, you know, talking slick to the medical, to the to the uh, registered nurses, to the LPNs and the doctors. You know, oh, why this, this, why this, this, you know, talking slick. And then you only show up that one day, never come back. That's the worst thing you could do, man. Showing up without being humble, you know, but you only show up one day talking hard and slick and leave your people's there like a sitting duck after that. So if anybody got anything in their mind, they want to get back at you. You got to remember, they're going to get back at your people's because you came in there screaming and acting nasty, talking about it ain't enough ice and all this other dumb stuff. Empty the garbage. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. But the way you present yourself to these people, then you're just going to leave your people there like a sitting duck. Not going to come back the next day and the next day. If you want to act like that, man, you got to keep showing up, man. Don't don't go into these medical facilities when your people's while your black people's is laid up in there talking slick, acting arrogant for one day. If you're going to do that, you need to keep showing up and uh, having your presence, you know, around all the time. Not just one day, man. You need to be calling and showing up. Don't leave your people's in these facilities after you done piss these people off, because some of these people, they may have been they may be mean or evil or they may not be. But. They may change their mind now, like, okay, I was going to check on Miss or Mr. Whoever, but, you know, you want to come up here acting like, let me stay away because you might try to say I did this. You never know, man. But all you could do is just be aware and show up and be humble, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. If you're going to show up and act arrogant and nasty, get out of here because you, you see this junk often, y'all. Y'all know, know what I'm talking about. But anyway, the racial disparities in the medical field, racial disparities, y'all, pay attention. Anyway, easy.